Hello, this video is all about the entertainment system. When you arrive, everything should be switched off. And inside this cabinet, you'll see three boxes. The box on the top is the amp, which kind of powers the system. The box with the clock on it is the cable box. And the box at the bottom is another amp that you don't have to worry about. First thing you're going to want to do, if you want to watch TV, is you're going to pick the amp remote. You know it's going to be the amp remote because it has the word Denon on it, which is the same brand as the top box. What you want to do is power it on with the on button. I'm sorry this is a bit out of focus. Let me see if I can do better than that. No, that's worse. There we go. I think that's a little better. With the on button. And see what happens when we press it. Okay, it powers up. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you have the right input selected. So you see this button that says zone? You want to push it to make sure that it's it's a toggle button that is on the M. That's the far left one. And then the next thing you want to do is hit the SAT cable button. Top row, second one in, see where my thumb is? Hit that, and that will display SAT cable on the main display there. So basically what that's telling the system to do is telling the system to recognize and play the signal from the cable box. So the next thing we're going to do is turn on the cable box. This time you're going to grab the cable remote and you know it is because it's got that Time Warner logo right there. And it's got five different power functions and we're going to be concerned right now about the cable power. So we're going to press cable and then we're going to press the power button. And can you see that that little light lit up next to the 1018? Says, Don't have your packages delivered to your door and in the first you can hear it, but the post there's no TV playing. So the next thing you need to do is turn on the TV. And again, use the Time Warner remote to do that. But this time, hit the TV button and then the power button. Give it a moment and it'll start. Amazon provides lock, can pick up or drop off packages. And it just takes a moment to get going. Riverside, Pools, and there she goes. Now, change a channel. This, this guide button is your best friend. By so by hitting guide, tells the you have to point it at the do. remote, well, at the cable box, box, sorry. This really? So, since I put it in. And to put the story in context, when you see security camera ah, video, we need to press the cable says, button again to bring it back to cable, and then press guide, which is this left blue button, and that brings your guide up, and that shows all the channels. Now, if you press guide again, you can scroll through to only networks or just on demand. Favorites. Etc. Etc. And then by hitting guide again, it will get you back. Sorry, so what you do is select what you want. I want to watch, say, networks. I'm going to scroll to networks and I'm going to hit the select button right in the middle here. And that takes me back to this. And then you just use the up and down channel, the up and down arrows to scroll through to what you want to watch. And to turn it all off, just kind of do it all in reverse. So I'm going to hit my TV button and the power button. That'll turn the TV off. Then I'll hit the cable button and the power button and that turns the cable box off. And then finally, I'm going to get my Denon receiver, uh, remote, sorry, 
and hit the power button here. Sorry, to turn it off you hit the standby button. And it's all done. Now if you want to power your iPad or your phone, or play your iPad or your phone and play some music, I've got a jack here. This charger won't be here, but you can hook your own charger into the power strip I've got back here. But this jack will be here. So you plug in your favorite device first. You get your Denon remote again. Try and get some focus here. And you hit on. And this time you need to tell it to play the dock which is that black cable. So, it's the same pad where we were before, where before you hit the satellite TV button, you're going to hit the dock button, which is the second row down, third button from the right. And watch what happens when I hit dock. Changes it to dock. Now, when you play your music through your phone, that will play on the big system. And if you want to just go back to TV again, don't forget to hit the satellite cable. And that should do it.